Hey everybody, this is John from Fluid, and uh, I just want to show you some of the new features we've added for version 25. I uploaded another video today, which uh, is supposed to be like an embedded tutorial for the app, so it's, it actually opens when you start the app up for the first time. So this is actually the official video for what we've added in, uh, in the new version. So this is version 25 I'm in, and uh, this is coming out to App Lab tonight. I'm recording it at uh, 7.30, and it'll go up on App Lab probably at 8 p.m. or something. So uh, you, uh, watching this video now, should be able to get it already. All right, so the biggest thing that we've added is, is, is this. So you might have seen this in, in some of the, the preview videos I've made, but this is, uh, this is the Omnibox. The Omnibox is your main control center for Fluid. We've added some uh, functionality to it, so you can adjust your volume like this, and you can actually dim the environment like this, and that also works in pass-through. So if I go to pass-through, I can dim my pass-through and uh, watch YouTube in a darkened room, which is uh, just, like, awesome. Okay, so let me go back into uh, normal VR mode. And um, we've also added the ability to, uh, to direct touch. So if I bring this video up to me, and I switch to my hands. Oops, I bumped my controllers, so that's why. Hold on, it'll switch to my hands in a second. Okay, cool. Um, I can just directly touch windows, and I can grab them and uh, move them and place them wherever I want. Uh, really great feature and uh, super useful for like kind of positioning windows exactly how you want them. You can also grab the corner no, I guess you can't. Uh, we'll add that. Um, but anyway, yeah, to, to edit size, you still need to use the normal corner drag with uh, the mouse. Um, okay. Uh, I shouldn't have closed that. I should uh, show you an, an exit feature. So we've also added the ability for you to change the angle of windows. So you do it by holding the shift key uh, while you're moving it if you have a keyboard attached. And then if you're just doing it um, with controllers, so I'll pick up a controller real quick. Um, when you are holding a window in move mode, if you click down on the thumbstick, then that puts it into angle adjust mode, and you just adjust it by moving your controller around like this. So it's a great way to uh, perfect kind of exactly how you want windows and how they're how you want them positioned. Um, yeah, uh, we've also added a whole new settings menu. Uh, so this is the settings app. It's much more visually consistent with the rest of the app, and uh, yeah, we've got a lot of good stuff in here. So. Uh, there you go. Um, the other stuff we've done is we have like a system called spaces. So this is a way of saving groups of windows. So for example, right now I'm in my getting started with fluid space and uh, I actually have made a bunch of changes to it. And so I actually have a, a default for this. So if I reload my default windows, what it's going to do is open the, the app the way I left it, um, which was this way. So this is like the default for this. Oh, that's really loud. All right. Um, Cool. And then I can just very quickly switch between different spaces. So this is my productivity space. And uh, so you can see here I have my my windows that I've uh, saved. And, you know, I have like productivity apps like ChatGPT and Linear and stuff like that. Um, and then also a, uh, a watch. So you should actually have all these too. So these are kind of the defaults we threw in there just to demo the, the, the feature to you. And so this has... Things like Crunchyroll and Hulu and uh, HBO Max and all, all those things open in it already. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to my uh, getting started with Fluid and load it. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close these so we don't need them. All right. Um, so in Rooms, we have our, uh, our menu here. So uh, you can create a room. And this is right now we we don't allow you to make them public, but public rooms. If you go to the join a room section, you can see here that there's this community rooms section, and uh, public rooms will be listed here with like the number of people in them. But we're holding off on that for a little bit. Um, but you can create a room and uh, add a description and a name and a room code to it, and it'll appear here in your list. And then other people can join you in it. Um, to join someone in a room, just enter the room code in the join room section right here. We've also made a lot of changes with environments. So if you click this button, this takes you, this one right here, it takes you to environments. So environments are specific to each room. So right now I'm in my home room and I can change from tranquil grandeur to cabin or to moon or to lo-fi. So this is great. Um, a few of these like tranquil grandeur and cabin, uh, they, they support uh, custom skyboxes. So everything you see outside the windows I've created. And so I can switch between kind of the defaults. So this is one of them. And then um, this is one I've created. Really pretty. I created an airship cloud world, which I think is super cool. I feel like I'm floating up above the, the sky. 
Um, I've got one which is like a, a sunset at Ibiza and just a ton of good stuff, Cappadocia. So super cool. Um, to create a new skybox, you can click this button right here and then type whatever you want in. So let's say a, a cartoon wonderland. And then I'm going to go to the advanced options, which we've added. And I can choose different different uh, styles and themes. And so I think um, let's go with magic realism. And then I'm also going to click enhance prompt here. This is on by default, I think. Um, what this is going to do is fill out additional detail in your prompt so that the thing that it generates is extra special. So let's click generate and uh, I'll cut to when it generates about 20 seconds later. All right, it just generated and wow, this is wild. Oh my gosh. Uh, so we have magical realism. It's like kind of like a Dr. Seuss sort of fantasy world. Like, dang, this is crazy. There's a cat dog thing for some reason. There's like towers, there's candy bridges. This is wild. Um, yeah. <laughs> so uh, let's say, I, I don't know if this is going to be my go-to, but uh, I'll save it just in case. So you can save it to your library like this. So I clicked save to my library and now it's right here. Uh, and so I can uh, return to it whenever I want, or I can go back to my San Francisco view or my under the sea view. And uh, yeah, it's really fun. And uh, this is my favorite feature of Fluid right now that we've added in the, in the last few updates. Uh, cool. All right, so that basically covers it. That's most everything. There's a lot more to discover, of course, but uh, we hope that you'll be able to just kind of self-discover by just experimenting with uh, like the different parts of the Omnibox. Um, and yeah, let us know what you think in our Discord. It's uh, discord.fluid.so. You can also find it if you go to the settings menu, there's a help center. And uh, yeah, you can, you can just click this button. It'll take you to our Discord. All right, everybody. Great to see you. Be good to each other. And I will let you know uh, the next stuff that we're working on. All right. Bye.